it's your girl Cheyenne from Plant My Happy Space. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not already, please take this moment and subscribe. Um, I'd really, really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Instagram at Plant My Happy Space. I'd love to chat with you guys and see you guys in future videos. Today, we are going to be demonstrating how to paint terracotta pots. Now the method I'm gonna show you guys today is specifically if you want your terracotta pots to still be porous so that your plant can still breathe. There's a completely different method to basically completely seal it to where it's no longer uh, moisture wicking and no longer airy, but this is going to be if you still want to use it to be an airy pot, that's what we're gonna do today. The first thing you're gonna need is obviously gonna be a terracotta pot and a saucer if you choose to use a saucer. Uh, you need to make sure that it is either a new pot or if it's a reused pot, it's one that you have sanitized and gotten all the gunk out of. The second thing you're gonna need is some acrylic paint and a paintbrush. I am currently using the Valspar paint that's used for painting walls uh, because we have a bunch of these sample sizes from when we were painting our house, but any acrylic paint will do. And then the last thing you're gonna need is a sealant. Now, this is very important because different sealants do different things. If you want it to be airy and still be able to wick moisture out, still be able to breathe, you need to get a penetrating sealer. And I'll explain why later when we get to that step, but I will recommend the one that I use, which is the 511 Porous Plus Sealer. This one is really, really good, and I'll demonstrate how to use it when we get to that step. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is either shake up or stir our paints. Depending on how big your paint is, we'll decide if you're able to just shake it. And then we are going to start painting our pot. What I always recommend doing is start with painting the parts that you could get away with only doing one layer that's not gonna be as visible. To me, that is the inside of the pot. And typically, I will only paint just the top of the inside that would be visible once soil's in the pot. I don't paint the whole thing just to make sure that I am making the pot still airy and moisture wicking. It's just gonna benefit us later. So that is the first thing I'm gonna do. The technique on how you guys paint is totally up to you. If you wanna use a bigger brush or a smaller brush or whatever, I don't recommend doing very thick layers, um, but the technique is totally up to you on how you wanna do it. And then I will paint the rim just so that it blends for when we paint the outside. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the saucer if you choose to use a saucer. And I'm gonna start with painting the outside of it. I will not paint the bottom just because that's gonna be the part that'll be on the surface and I don't really think it's necessary, but I will be painting the outer rim. Also, if I didn't mention it before, if you notice I've got a trash bag laid down, that's totally personal preference, but I do recommend it especially when we get to the sealant portion. The paint you could probably scrub off pretty easily, but this sealant is pretty hard to get off surfaces once it's dried. Okay, so now we have the inside of our pot painted. If you can see, we didn't do a specifically really good job. It's just, just enough to cover it because you're not really gonna see it. And then on the saucer, you'll notice I didn't do the inside and I didn't really do the bottom either. It's just on that outer rim. All right, now that the paint that we put on the inside is dry to the touch, we're gonna paint the visible portion. So what I like to do is I will kind of make a fist with my hand that I won't be using for painting and just kind of setting it on there. <laughs> you can use whatever technique you want. Um, and then I just paint the entire outside. I don't do the bottom. Just like I said with the saucer, nobody's gonna see it, so it's not that big of a deal. We will be doing two coats of this, so you don't have to make it perfect the first time. It will look a little streaky, it will look a little splotchy, but that is okay. If you wanted to get creative 
and paint designs or logos or you know anything you could as long as you're using acrylic paint at the end of the day you can do you know do a coat of white and then paint some flowers on it whatever it is you wanted to do you could do it as long as you're using acrylic paint and you finish it the way that i show you how to seal it uh really that's it i personally prefer having pretty simplistic pots for the most part and if i do have one that's a little bit um patterned or anything like that um, it's usually an accent pot basically so there'll be one of those with a bunch of uh, neutral tone ones personally the reason why i like painting pots is only because um, obviously terracotta is orange and not all of my rooms really go with that color. And if you try to find clay pots that are different colors, like they have like balsamic clay pots that are like light gray and stuff like that, it's, it's almost a waste of money. You're paying so much for just a different colored clay pot than you could just getting a 98 cent terracotta pot and painting it yourself. That's how, that's, at least that's my mindset. All right, and then because we painted the rim during the first portion and it should be dry, typically what I'll do is put one finger on the bottom where I know it's not painted and one finger on the rim so that I can place it down. All right, now with the saucer, what I prefer to do is literally just leave it sitting on the table like it is and start painting. You can kind of use your fingers to hold it steady if you want on the outside since we've already painted that part but this is the pretty simple part. Again, don't worry about it being streaky, splotchy, anything like that. The second layer will cover that up. All right, once our outer layer is dry to the touch, we're gonna do our second layer wherever it is you deem necessary. Typically, I only do it on the outside portions that are visible. That is totally up to you. I also don't recommend doing more than two layers because then it can become too thick. All right, and for the saucers, what I prefer to do is get the outer rim and the inner rim. I don't really worry about the bottom or the very bottom of the inside, just because the pot will be typically sitting on that. I will just do what's visible. All right, and we should be done painting now. We are going to leave the pots to dry. Now, I don't recommend you just waiting until they are dry to the touch like we did the last couple of layers. Give them a full hour to fully, fully dry because if they're only dry to the touch but not dry all the way through when we go to put the sealant on, could be a bit of an issue. So let's wait a full hour before we do anything else with these pots. All right, now that the paint is completely dry, now it's time to use the sealant. Now I told you in the beginning I would tell you why using a penetrating porous sealant is important. And this is specifically for if you want the pot to still be moisture wicking and breathable. In most cases, if you use a traditional sealant, all it does is create a shiny outer layer. And what'll happen is when you start to water your plant, Maybe sooner, maybe later, but eventually all the paint will start to bubble up because it's not breathing, but the water is still trying to be pushed out through the pot. Using a penetrating porous sealer, it actually soaks into the, the same way the paint in the water does. So there's still airflow going through it, but it is sealed. Now, I prefer to use the spray kind. They do sell this in bigger kind of jugs and you can apply it however you want, but I prefer the spray. So what we're gonna do is exactly how they're sitting now with the pot upside down and the saucer right side up, I'm going to completely cover the pot with the sealant anywhere there is paint. So I'm not really gonna try to get any of the sealant here at the bottom where I didn't put any paint. And I'm also not gonna put any on the inside because it's not really relevant. So really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the spray bottle and go around the edge so that it just drips and covers the whole outside. And then for the saucer, I'm going to basically spray the entire thing except for the very bottom. 
and the instructions say to let it sit for three to five minutes. And that is what we are going to do. All right, so the instructions say to let that sit on for three to five minutes and then to wipe it off. So I'm gonna let it sit and then we'll do the wiping. Okay, so now that it's been a couple minutes, we are going to wipe the sealant off. I suggest you use a rag you don't care about and you just wanna get basically all of the excess off. All right. Now that that is wiped off, the directions say to wait one to three hours and then apply a second layer. For the sake of the video, I'm only gonna wait one hour and then reapply, but the longer you wait, the better. I also suggest you move it so it's not still sitting in the puddle of sealant. All right, it's been about an hour and now we're just going to repeat the sealant step and do a second layer. Just making sure that we soak and cover the entire outside. All right, and now we let them sit for three to five minutes again. All right, so the sealant should be done and we're gonna wipe it off for the last time. All right, guys, that is it. These are now perfectly sealed and ready to be used with any plant that you still want to have a porous pot and still be able to breathe. Now I have a nice gray pot and no longer that terracotta orange. All right guys, if you thought this video was helpful or fun, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna see any of my future content, you should also subscribe and comment down below maybe some ideas that you wanna see in the future. I've got some things in the works, but I could never have too many good ideas, so please let me know. And for now, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.